Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Monique and in today's video, I am gonna be doing a Zara haul. We are back with the goods. It's still summer here in the UK. We are slowly and slowly getting into our autumn season. Um, I actually wanted to do a collective haul today because I bought some pieces from Mango, which if you already follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a snippet of some of the pieces that I picked up. Um, and I really wanted to show you a lot of those today, but um, they didn't arrive in time, so. Never mind. I will be doing that haul next week. So you guys already know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed down below and make sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can keep up and make sure that you are watching that video when it is uploaded next week. Um, but for now, I picked out some pieces that I think will be great for transitioning from summer into autumn smoothly. Uh, we've got some pieces that you can wear both day and night. And of course, I will be styling them up as usual. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we do, of course, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at msmny, where I showcase a lot of my outfits and give you guys plenty of outfit inspiration. All right, let's go. As time goes by. Okay, so first up, we have this very casual, neutral style dress. I picked this up in a size small and this was $49.99. I really, really like it. I think it's just a really nice, easy, casual dress to wear. I also feel like this is something that you can easily wear on holiday. Um, and so for that reason, I thought this was a great piece to pick out because what do we like on this channel? Versatility. Um, things that you can rewear in many different places. That's the kind of things that I tend to shop for nowadays. And I feel like this is one of those pieces. I absolutely love the colour. I think you guys know me, I do love neutrals. Um, and I just feel like this blends really, really well. And I feel like this will go with many other pieces that I have in my wardrobe. So for right now, if I was to wear this, I would probably throw a trench coat over. Very, very easy for autumn. And of course, as I said, you can take this on holiday. So for that reason, I've gone ahead and just paired them with a pair of brown sandals to match. But yeah, just a very super easy item to wear. Really, really cute. Loving it. It's really flowy. It's quite comfortable on. You've got these side splits on either side, which I think is great. Really, really nice. The material feels really breathable. So yeah, can't really go wrong with this item. The only thing that I would say is that the belt, although the belt is quite comfortable around the waist and it's great for cinching in. I'm gonna put this down. It is one of those belts that doesn't, it doesn't cinch into the way that I would really like it to. I prefer my belts to be cinched in this far. Um, obviously when you release it, it becomes a lot more loose. So it's one of those ones where you kind of have to tuck it maybe underneath just for it to hold. But I mean, if you're not bothered by that, then yeah, perfectly fine. The old socks. I've just discovered that this dress has pockets. Look. Okay, this is just taking this dress up to another level. A dress with pockets. The fact that I didn't notice that in the first place is something that I love about this. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love. We actually need more dresses with pockets, girls. We really do, it's so handy. Oh my gosh. I love that and I feel like the pockets are in the perfect place as well. My hands are comfortable. Sometimes pockets can be placed in the wrong place and your hands are up here, not the one. This is perfect. The next outfit I've picked up, I've gone for a more dressier vibe with this one, which is this really nice bright blue top. This I picked up in a size small and I picked this up for $25.99, which isn't a bad price, I don't think. I just had to get it. it I just feel like it's, it just, it's regal. It's giving me regal vibes. I feel like the way that this top has been designed just makes it look that much more expensive than it is, just because of the pleats that we get that runs all the way through from top to bottom. And then I really love this detail of sort of like a flowy shape that it gives at the bottom. Really, really nice hem we have here. But 
yeah i just don't think that you can go wrong with this top i love it i think it's great for wearing in the day if i was going for more of a casual vibe i would definitely pair this with a pair of blue denim jeans and just an easy pair of brown sandals i think it would work really really well or you could wear white sandals whatever you fancy um but for me dressing this up i would definitely go with more of a tonal neutral color so here i've gone with an old pair of zara trousers which i absolutely love i wear these all the time and i've gone for my christian louboutin for girls which i think just works with the look of course for styling purposes you can just tuck this in which i think is another look in itself i mean that's cute for now i've just gone with wearing it open just very easy to pop on and a major point if you're a foodie like me and you're going out to eat this is the kind of top that would hide the stomach okay so no issues there but yeah i love it i just think it's regal easy to wear you can easily dress this up casually and kind of style in different ways so it had to be done kind of like the perfect outfit to wear to dinner brunch um or wherever so yeah i can't fault this one love it for all time's sake Okay, so the third item that I picked out is this dress, which I absolutely love. Like, love, 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 love. If you guys know me and you've been following me for quite some time, then you already know that I love anything asymmetric. I just, it just upgrades any kind of basic. And just, do you know how much I love this dress? I just love it. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already probably seen this. I did share just a few bits over on my Instagram and this was one of the dresses that I shared and a lot of you seemed to love it and wanted to know exactly what it looks like. So here we are. I mean, it's giving, it's giving everything, okay? Hello dinner, hello night out with the girls, hello date night, like, I love it, I love it. The one shoulder, I love the neckline, the asymmetric, no shoulder on this side. It's just epic. So, so epic and so comfortable. I picked this up in a size small and this was 25.99, I believe. I will double check that. It would have been on the screen just shortly, which is really not a bad price for a dress like this. Super, super comfortable as well. Really easy to move in. It's not one of those dresses, even though it goes down below, it doesn't restrict you from walking, which is great because that's not what you need when you're out and about. But yes, yes. It's got such a lovely stretch to this material. Like, look at that elastic. What? Elasticity. I don't, don't mind me. I don't know what I was saying there. Um, but yeah, a really nice, beautiful stretch to the material. Just, oh. guys, I can't get over this dress. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite dresses that I've picked up from Zara so far. You need this. You need it. Just stunning. And it's got the same asymmetric detail on the back, of course. But this is just the ultimate winner. The ultimate winner. You go out to dinner in this dress. Easy. Easy. I've paired it, of course, I've kept on my gold jewellery, which I think pairs really, really well. It just, it just all flows and goes together. I have taken out my hoops and I've paired them with these dangly gold earrings because I feel like it just goes a little bit better with it. But hoops would still go perfectly fine. I love it. But I do feel like sometimes when your shoulder is exposed, or both shoulders, it is really nice to pair your accessories with some really nice droop down earrings. Perfect. And I've also paired this with my Bottega Raffia heels, which I think go perfectly considering it is technically still summer. This is one of those dresses as well that I think you can wear throughout all seasons, especially spring, autumn, and winter. So I will definitely be going out to dinner in this dress during the next two couple of seasons. But yeah. 
Game changer of a dress. Stunning. $14.99. How could we go wrong with $14.99? I think this starts with that price in a size small, which I think is great. Now, this top for me, I kind of just had to get because I have been in need of some really nice casual tops that you can easily wear with jeans. Simple stuff that you can kind of wear anywhere and pair with anything. And I feel like this is one of those tops. It came with both straps on either side, just like a normal regular top that you would get. Sort of like as it, a camisole top would look, whereby you pull both straps over each side of your head. Uh, and that gives it this crisscross effect in the front, which I really, really like. Very, very simple top, but I feel like it's incredibly effective. So of course we've got the crisscross detail in the front and then we also have the crisscross in the back. Really, really nice. So easy to pair with everything. I actually went out the other night and this was my outfit. I basically styled it all black with a pair of Levi 501 jeans. And then I paired it with this belt that I picked up from Zara ages ago. And my trusted Vader trainer. I look like these. I feel like everyone needs a pair of ages in their life. And this is definitely the kind of look that you can wear from day to night without having to change. Perfect. And when it got cold in the evening, I actually wore this with a blazer. Um, just again, another easy piece, a great transitional style piece. The blazer I actually got a while ago from Zara as well. Just chuck that over the top, really, really dark navy pinstripe blazer. And the whole outfit, just went perfectly together. So yeah, had to get this top. And honestly, for $14.99, I don't think it's that bad. Some of the old socks. Next up, I've gone for another evening out type style outfit. I picked up this really, really nice green, like sort of satin silky style top which I am absolutely in love with. I am 100% definitely keeping this item because, hello, hello, like, hello. I wish you guys could feel this. This is, this is literally so, so soft. Absolutely beautiful, so immaculate. And I paired it with these really long, sort of elongated style um, flared black, Java trousers that I picked up ages ago. I've also paired it with my Christian Louis Vuitton for girls, but I actually feel like this would have, this is a look that would go much better with a pair of black heels or black strap heels. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I think green is such a wonderful color. As we all know, it is very much the trend color at the moment for this season, and I reckon it will still be for um, part of autumn. But I just think that this is the perfect top to wear out to dinner. I think this is. So, so stunning. Honestly, incredible. I feel amazing in it. It's wonderful. I absolutely love the V-neck droop detail. I love a collar. Absolutely love a collar. I think a collar on anything just turns anything from casual straight into smart vibes. But yeah, wonderful. We've got the beautiful buttons down in the middle with this really nice ruching, like a waist pull effect in a way. So it kind of does the job for you. You don't need to wear a belt with this. Just wear it as it is. I would also wear it tucked in to the trouser, like that. Cute. But yeah, you can't go wrong with this. I'd also wear this top with jeans, just to make it a little bit more casual. But yeah, there's nothing more that I can say about this. I just love this top. I think this top is fantastic. So, so easy. <laughs> But I mean, look at the detail on that. Super, super easy. I've gone for a very casual look. I paired it with my ASOS brown bag. But again, very tonal colors. And then we've just gone for a pair of my favorite 
everyday style jeans that I picked up from Zara ages ago. Brown belt, brown sandals, all to match. And of course, my trusted ASOS 70s style glasses. Very, very super easy casual look. And I think that this is great to wear right now as the weather is still kind of warm, it's about 20-ish degrees. But of course, in autumn, I would definitely pair this up exactly as I'd wear it. Swap the sandals for a pair of trainers or a pair of boots, and then swap this very casual tank style white top for maybe a sweater, jumper, or most likely a turtleneck in black, cream, white, beige, whatever. Nowadays, I'm very much getting into basic items that are elevated, and I feel like this is another one of those, just like the asymmetric dress that I showed earlier. You know, simple blazer, but it's got this extra detail where you can still see part of the outfit underneath. Love that. And you've got the strings here. This is actually adjustable, which is great. So if you wanted this to be a little bit tighter, you could pull this in a little bit more. But yeah, I love it. I just love the fact that you can still see part of the outfit underneath when you still got this up. Of course, it is open, you can wear it like this and you can just tie it up. Very, very easy. I would probably wear it just out like so. But yeah, love it. Really nice casual transitional look for autumn. Something that I thought that some of you might like. This I picked up in a size small. I think, how much was this actually? Let's have a look. $49.99. If I was to be totally honest with you guys, I think this is a little bit pricey. $49.99 for this much material. I don't know. Maybe if this was $29.99, I would definitely, definitely go for it. Um, I do think $49.99, it's basically £50, let's call it that, um, is a little bit pricey for an item like this. But if you are going to be wearing this all the time, every year, then by all means, I guess, at that point, then it's worth it. But either way, really nice item. As time goes by. Okay, so the last item that I picked up is this dress. Now this dress I picked up in a size small, no, light. I picked this dress up in a size extra small to small. It comes in two sizes. So extra small to small and medium to large. So this is the extra small to small. And this was, I kid you not, $19.99. What a bargain. I love, love, love the fit of this dress. It is very, very figure hugging. The only thing, of course, is I do feel a little bit restrictive, especially at the bottom. Um, it doesn't allow for much movement. Um, it's just one of those dresses. You just have to decide whether you're, you're gonna risk it for that or not. I'm not 100% there with the colour is yet. It may be the type of colour that I feel like I have to warm to. Although I actually really like teal green, I'm just not sure about this colour with this dress. We'll see. But I've paired this with my Christian Louboutins and the Pigalle style in a neutral colour, which I think goes quite well. And I've kept on, of course, all my gold jewellery. But I mean, just stunning. It is in this really nice casual ribbed material that goes all the way down, the lines run through. You do have this extra detail of um, holes that go across the chest area, which I think is lovely. And I absolutely love the neckline detail. I think the neckline detail is very sexy, very feminine, really nice dress. That is pretty much it. That's everything for today's haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked some of the pieces that I picked out. Please let me know which ones were your favourites down below in the comments. And of course, I will see you again in the next one. Next week's haul will be a mix of both Zara and Mango items, which of course I mentioned earlier. So definitely stay tuned to that and make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that one. See you next week, guys. Oh, thank you.